Congratulations on behalf of the European for being awarded for Indirect Investment Agency of the Year 2013 for the MENA regions. Thank you, we're very proud. Sharjah Investment and Development Authority, also known as Sharuk, has been awarded Foreign Direct Investment Agency of the Year 2013 for the MENA regions. The company CEO, Marwan al Sarkal and the Director of Business Development, Eli Armali, join us today to discuss how the Emirate of Sharjah is becoming a growing investment destination in the United Arab Emirates. So good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us about Sharuk. What is Sharuk and how did it start? Shuruq is actually the Investment and Development Authority of the Sharjah government. Sharjah is one of the seven uh, emirates of the United Arab Emirates. Uh, Shuruq was actually established in 2009. It is chaired by Her Excellency Sheikh Abdur bin Sultan Al Qasimi with the objective of attracting investments in, the, in, in Sharjah and also developing projects. We also are responsible of managing our projects. In the past year, uh, past years since 2009, we have achieved great results in promoting Sharjah as an investment destination. On the other hand, we are also have been uh, announcing a lot of projects throughout the whole Emirate of Sharjah, talking about the Sharjah city and the different uh, cities that are under the Sharjah government. What is Sharuk's achievement so far? Well, initially we started out in developing projects. Uh, Mr. Marwan took over the uh, uh, developing the first project, which is Al Qasba. It's a tourist destination. And then we evolved into two or three other projects. Uh, meanwhile, we were doing some studies on how to invite uh, foreign direct investments into the Emirate of Sharjah. We did not want to go and just bring in investors. Uh, we had to do our homework. We had to know what is niche uh, for the foreign investors to come and invest in Sharjah. So since 2009, we have done all the research and we narrowed it down to four sectors, uh, and out of that, there are some subsectors related uh, to the main sectors. Uh, we went out on the road creating awareness to various areas uh, around the globe, which we have identified in the research. And uh, now, subsequently, we are targeting specific areas, particularly uh, those areas globally who have uh, been known to attract uh, investors and who have been investors in, uh, in Sharjah for the past uh, three, four decades since the independence, mainly uh, India, uh, China, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, but now looking at the global uh, changes, uh, economical changes around the world, we're looking at areas in Europe and also the United States. You were talking about four sectors that you have identified, which are these? The four sectors that uh, we're looking forward to attract investment are uh, travel and tourism, healthcare, uh, transportation, logistics, and environment. Those four sectors, we did a whole study about looking at the growth rate expected in, in each sector and what are the opportunities in each sector. On the other hand, we're also focusing a lot of developing projects. So we have announced major project in the Emirate of Sharjah. One of our major project that was announced in, in the in Shuruq was the heart of Sharjah development. It was a 15-year plan to develop the historical area of Sharjah and create a destination out of it. One of the important uh, projects that we have also announced is the Chedi Khorfakan, which is one of the resorts that is sitting in a city called Khorfakan that sits on the Indian Ocean. But we try to do also a different way of positioning Sharjah in the tourism sector by, uh, by ad adding another project that is focusing on, on ecotourism, which is the Kalba ecotourism. And within that, uh, for the past couple of years, Shuruq has made sure that every sector had uh, had a major stake in promoting the tourism sector. On the other hand, in promoting uh, promoting Sharjah to to the to, to the international world, we have been also participating in different roadshows, uh, and we've been even uh, focusing on on making sure that the message about attracting investment is to develop uh, a, an economy that is very very much diversified. So, what's your strategy, and what are you doing exactly to achieve these goals? Um, many, many things. Uh, as you know, attracting uh, FDI uh, is not an easy task. Uh, there's uh, just about every uh, country, uh, the BRIC nations are all competing to attract uh, investments. Um, there are certain incentives that we are uh, giving uh, to the investors. Um, it's a known fact. Uh, not just in Sharjah, but all of the UAE, that is a tax-free country. 
that is a, um, a major uh, luring uh, grounds for investors to come uh, to the area. <clears throat> also, uh, for investors, repatriation of capital gains and profits 100%. Um, I think also the currency being pegged to the dollar and the currency being uh, the pegging to the dollar have been stable also for the past uh, three years. That's also very, very important. But if you really think about it, at the end of the day, the investor is looking for security. And what we have in Sharjah and in the UAE, uh, thanks to the leaders and the rulers over there since the independence, is the uh, political stability, the economical stability, and just overall security um, of the nation. I think uh, now anywhere you go around the world, uh, people are hearing more and more about the United Arab Emirates and what it has to um, offer. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we are very proud of that. Yeah. We can also, uh, just to add, that uh, Sharjah is, is an amazing city that offers a great infrastructure. It has more than 18 different industrial areas. It has two very successful free zones. One, one is focused on, on services and the other is focused on manufacturing, which is Hamriya free zone and Sharjah airport free zone. And we have recently, uh, His Highness have announced an, another free zone, which is focused only on healthcare. That makes Sharjah a very unique uh, uh, place for business to happen. Uh, Sharjah is also um, uh, is a key when it comes to uh, heritage and museums. It has more than 21 museums, which makes it an exciting destination to visit. And if we talk about uh, education, uh, Sharjah has uh, the biggest education uh, area in the region called the Academic City or the University City, which today has one of the best universities around the globe. The Sharjah American University is actually one of the best 500 universities around the whole globe, which, uh, which makes it an ideal location for anyone trying to open up his, uh, his company. That Sharjah will offer you a lot of good benefits that will make you a successful uh, entrepreneur. On the other hand, Sharjah is very unique that it has different cities as Khorfakan, Kalba, Mleha, Adhid, Hamriya, which makes it very unique for you to actually move around. It has three seaports. One of them, uh, two of them actually sits on the Arabian Gulf and the other one sits on the Indian Ocean, which, which is why we're focusing also as using Sharjah as a logistic hub. Environment-wise, uh, Sharjah has the biggest uh, recycling plant in the whole Middle East. And we have uh, within the vision of His Highness to make sure that by 2015, Sharjah has a zero waste. Uh, that shows how uh, efficient Sharjah is moving towards uh, attracting more investments into healthcare, environment, transportation, logistics, and travel and tourism. So I can see that Sharjah is really appealing for investors and the United Arab Emirates on a whole, they're really, um, they're doing loads towards foreign investment. But how is Sharjah, that emirate that's not as well known as other emirates mm -hmm. from the UAE, what is it doing to encourage foreign investment? Yes, we actually have a lot of benefits that we provide for any investor to invest. Shuruq, when, when it first was created in 2009, was that uh, entity that is responsible of making sure that if any investor would like to invest in the Emirate of Sharjah, he can actually come to Shuruq, he can approach us, we can provide him with all of the facilities, whether it's land, whether it's procedure through the government, whether it's to ease off any bottleneck that is, face, uh, that is facing any investor. And at the end of the day, an investor is looking for a place where he can find transparency, dealing with the government and that's why we're actually Shuruq is, is, is an entity that that provides even information and gives any investor the right feedback about where to invest why to invest here where where, where to be located because Sharjah is a big uh, emirate at the end of the day so we are there to support any investor that will come to invest in Sharjah so what are Shuruq's goals in 2014 or it's <laughs> for the coming 10 years for the coming five years for the coming five years, we are actually keeping in mind that because we are focused on three different things, one of them is investment, the other is development, and the third one is manage, managing our resources. And, and towards investment, we are trying to put the message that Sharjah is, uh, is, uh, is open for investors to come and invest. We've been around 
the whole European uh, countries. We've been to Asia. We've recently had a very successful roadshow in the United States of America. Our approach for the coming uh, five years is basically to spread the message widely about attracting investments on four different sectors that we have mentioned. On the other hand, on development arm, we have focused for the past uh, four years on attracting investment uh, and developing projects in the tourism sector. In the coming five years, we want to see those projects ready, open, and ex uh, expecting guests to, to visit whether the resorts or the destination, because our idea is to create destinations, and an ORD is to create opportunities for investors uh, to invest. But that doesn't mean that we're only going to focus on developing projects in the tourism, but that means that we are also looking at uh, developing projects in different sectors. I think just to add uh, to what uh, Mr. Marwan is saying, we have put, just like any organization, we have put our 10-year um, plan, our 2020 plan, our 2030 plan, um, and we have put the financial numbers and all of this. But the main thing also that we would like to achieve in the next uh, decade or so, if you like, is um, employment for the nationals, uh, securing jobs for all the graduates uh, that are coming out from our universities that are based in Sharjah. Um, nevertheless, the unique thing about Shuruk and the challenging thing about Shuruk is that uh, we have our own projects. Uh, not that we want to do all the government projects, that's not the case. The case is that we would like to lead by example. We would like to bring in uh, the international brands, the international hotel brands, the international uh, tourism operational pl uh, plans um, into Sharjah and uh, do all the homework for the investors, all the, all the research that they need, um, all the uh, facilities like Mr. Marwan said, facilitate the process for them um, and help them out. Uh, we have been successful in bringing international brands, be it food and beverage, restaurant brands, hotel brands into that. Uh, but we don't want to do everything. We would like to lead by example. Uh, we would like to have success stories in the next uh, five years to, uh, to the decade uh, down the road. Uh, and of course, bring in uh, the investors to, to achieve our financial targets. Uh, one thing here I would like to also add is that um, you mentioned what makes Sharjah unique and uh, um, what makes Sharjah unique is its history, its previous vision and this is something that Shuruk is continuing on. Uh, Sharjah has its own personality uh, in comparison to the rest of the Emirates. It's not as cosmopolitan as Dubai. It's not as metropolitan as Abu Dhabi. But it's very well known for the education, heritage, uh, preserving the history, the culture of, uh, of the country. Um, and this is something that we continue to do. You will notice with our projects, most of them, the heart of Sharjah that Mr. Marwan mentioned is revitalizing uh, the culture of the Emirate. The other projects that we have um, are very much related to um, upkeeping and uplifting the ecotourism uh, part mm -hmm. of, the, uh, um, of the Emirate, uh, which will reflect not just on Sharjah, but the whole United Arab Emirates, I think. Well, thank you very much, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mercedes.